What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another video. It's that time again for another Donkey Kong related video. We pretty much showcased Donkey Kong 64 and a bunch of Donkey Kong spin offs that most were missed. Well, a lot of them were really good. But now it's time to take a look at one particular Donkey Kong title, and I mean, this one Donkey Kong title I almost never see anyone talk about. And that, my friends, is DK. King of Swing. This is the only Donkey Kong minus the GBA ports on the GBA. I have seen interesting opinions, at least online. How do I feel about it? Time to find out. Alright, so first off, let's start with the main plot of the game. The, the, we are back on DK Jungle for the Jungle Jam Tournament, which is a huge festival that occurs every once in a while. That's the first time I ever heard of that, huh? But, King K rolls up to his old shenanigans again, and instead of kidnapping Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong, he takes all the medals of the festival, and it's up to DK to uh, get the, all the medals back. Yep, that's the whole story. <laughs> they put on a festival and never did it again. <laughs> it should invite- you should invite Rosalina. Wait, she wasn't around at this time. Alright, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's go ahead and- How I feel about the gameplay? Well, let's get right to the negatives first. The gameplay is... Oh, how do I describe it? If you played the NES game, Kluku Land, you might have an idea how this plays. The, it's very similar to like, you know, D you press the L button to grab one of DK's arms. Or hands, I guess. Use one DK's hands and R to use the other one. You basically hold on to it, you swing around for a bit. Basically slim similar to Kluku Land in a way. So, yeah, that's pretty much the gameplay. And it's a lot... S I don't know if I can say it's slower, I guess. I mean, you could have some reaction timing, but DK's going all over the place. You're probably gonna get hit somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah. And also, one of the problems also is the, um... There's no, um... There's no checkpoints, so if you die, you start the whole level over. Yeah, this game is definitely... <laughs> has its problems, for sure. Um, especially with no lives, either. <laughs> um, so that's interesting. Also, there are... but yeah, um, what else I can say? The level design is not the greatest, either. <laughs> um, most of the time. There's some unique levels. That you don't really see in the Donkey Kong franchise, it's typical gra the jungle, the deserts, all that stuff. And also some unique mechanics. Other than that though, yeah, it definitely has some annoyance with the level design, which is why I probably wouldn't blame anyone for not being a big fan of this game. So, yeah, there's also a bunch of collectibles. A bunch of stuff, uh, you know, get a bunch of bananas so you can get a little power up. Uh, the medals, obviously, that King K. Rool drops, and there's also crystal coconuts as well so yeah there's a lot of interesting collectibles and also we still have the usual enemies like the like the, you know from the rest of the donkey kong series so there's still a lot of those as well um so yeah and let's talk about the positives honestly now i guess <laughs> uh how if but the sprite i will say the sprites oh it's so good man the gba is more common for having great sprites in their games and I wouldn't blame them, this is definitely one of them for, for probably being one of my favorite Donkey Kong sprites, honestly. Like, no one really talks about how good this one is, it's just in my opinion, it's just so damn good, honestly, so yeah. I will say I love the way the levels look and stuff, but playing them is a different story. Sometimes. Sometimes they're not hard, sometimes they are. <laughs> so yeah, but I know Donkey Kong is meant to be hard, but this was a whole different level, honestly. So yeah. Alright, I think I can... I think I pretty much talked about mostly everything, the gameplay, sprites, the controls, there's also, oh yeah, so yeah, Donkey Kong beats King K. Rool, we got all the medals back, and the festival can continue like normal, and we never had it again, <laughs> that's something alright, anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's, so yeah, that's pretty much the game, oh yeah, and there's also some game modes as well, um, a few game modes, like, you know, the multiplayer stuff, which is basically a race with different characters you can play as. Only if you connect the GBA with other players, which is also a cool concept. It's pretty fun. You can't play by yourself. It is an interesting game, to say the least, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, about the King K. Rule fights. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
but it can be stressful. The beginning part is more stressful. Either way, it's just more on the basic side either way, so yeah. Just not King K. Roll like every other boss. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, uh, how do I feel about the game? Do I like it? In some ways, I think it's pretty cool, honestly. It's more difficult, but otherwise, I love the sprites, I love the mini games. Kinda like the, kinda like the level design most of the time. Overall, it's not a bad game, honestly. So yeah. Did you guys remember there was a sequel, though? Yes, there's a sequel. So yes, there was a sequel. For the Nintendo DS, we have DK Jungle Climber. The plot of the game is DK and the, the whole Kong family is having a nice vacation on Sun Sun Island. First time I'll ever hear about that in a Donkey Kong game. Uh, Diddy sees a giant banana and it's up and he and Donkey Kong are going to the top of the mountain to see what the huge banana is all about. And of course, guess who's involved? King K. Rule. Gotta deal with the shenanigans again. So the gameplay is basically the same as uh, King of the Swing, but the only difference is we have lives. That's something. The controls feel a lot better because we have Diddy Kong now, so you'll have extra hits, like two hits like the original Donkey Kong Country. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you have two hits just like the original Donkey Kong Country. And, um... Low design is a little more fair for the most part. And also, there's in-game cutscenes, kinda. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about this. Um, as for the artwork, I mean, I know it's a DS game. I don't know, I prefer the sprites of King of Swing. Jungle Climber is the better, better experience if you don't wanna... Oh man, raging every time, because at least you die, you start at the next level, you... The next area, basically. But, yeah, honestly, these can really be interchangeable at times, honestly. But otherwise, the games are pretty much- the game is pretty much similar to King of Swing, with just different level design. That's a little more fair, and I mean, it would make sense, people probably- assuming if you grew up with this game, I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I could- so, yeah. Um, there are some mini-games as well, as, which are mostly multiplayer, of course, just like- just like the GBA, there are different- you need to connect the DS to play with these. I haven't really played any of these, but they seem pretty cool, honestly, so, yeah. Alright, so, let's go ahead and talk about the end game, since I pretty much- I don't think I- I think- feel, I feel like everything I would say is basically similar to King of Swing. King K. Rule! After you beat him the same way in King of Swing, he grows big! Totally not the first time this has ever happened before. This was the last time, it, not counting sluggers, this was the last time King K. Rool was ever the villain in a Donkey Kong game. Which is something, alright? What a cliffhanger, huh? So yeah, rip King K. Rool besides Smash. <laughs> eh, not really, he came back in Smash, but I hope Nintendo does more with them. Unless Nintendo really hates crocodiles that much. <laughs> so yeah, that's my opinion on that. I probably prefer, um... I probably prefer Jungle Climber, but the GBA one's pretty cool, so yeah. That's the two Donkey Kong games that are hardly talked about. <laughs> and with that, that's every Donkey Kong game besides the country titles I've talked about on the channel. Um, so yeah, because obviously I wouldn't need to talk about the country games, obviously, so yeah. Whoever, whatever the future Donkey Kong holds, you know I'm going to be covering it a lot. I hope there's a new Donkey Kong... <laughs> on the horizon, there has been so many leaks and rumors and stuff about this. I'm gonna keep- I'm just gonna let the rumors slide at this point, because, like, there's been so much going on lately. Who knows if it's real? This is the one rumor I just want this to end, honestly, so let's hope the next Direct reveals a new Donkey Kong. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think of both of these games, or one or the other? Let me know in the comments below. Later, folks.